<sighs> Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another Gabs episode. I have very much changed my mind about my situation. You see, these guys are trouble, and I'm very prone to dying as it is. I don't really need them doing their thing. So everything I did last episode, forget it. We're starting from scratch. We're moving. I, I don't want to risk it. I want to make it to the 100 days. So we're starting, as you can see, on day 20. We're going to see if we can get to day 30 today. I know this was such a great idea, and I know I put a lot of work into it last episode. We're just going to pack a couple things up here and scout out a new area to pursue the rest of this series. I packed only the essentials and set out in search of a safer place to call home. I found a lovely little spot on the outskirts of a village here, plopped some of my belongings down, and called it home. I decided to go check out the surrounding area and the village. I spotted a couple cats and instantly had a fantastic idea. I needed to tame some cats so I could have an adorable pet that would scare away any threat of creepers and phantoms. But first, I needed to find some fish. Oh man, I don't think I've seen any fish. We'll return a little sooner than I expected to the old base to see if we can get supplies for a fishing rod to get those nice little kitties. I quickly made my way back to the old base, grabbed some materials along with some other items I'd left behind, such as my enchanting setup, and then I returned to the new area where I slept away the rest of day 20. Day 21, I continued carrying out my genius plan to get a pet cat or two. I crafted my fishing rod, plopped my booty down, and did a little fishing. Turned very dark. Okay, I got a salmon. Okay, I've got three fish. Let's go see if we can get a cat. <gasps> I know you want to fish. Wonderful. We've got one cat. Let's uh, continue fishing for more. Come here, little guy. Aww. It is getting dark out, so let's grab our torches as well. I ended the day by lighting up the surrounding area to prevent more mob spawning and then took a snooze in a villager's bed leading in to day 22. Day 22 and 23, I spent down in the depths of the caves, collecting resources as I had gotten low on a lot of them. I also spent a little extra time getting some extra copper as I was going to use that in my new build for my new area. Day 24, I emerged from the caves, put my stuff away, only to come to the realization I didn't have any enchanted gear yet. However, before I could start enchanting, I needed more books for bookshelves to complete the full enchantment setup, and I didn't have any easy access to leather, so the quickest way I could think to get some would be to go into the nether on a hoglin slaying quest. Oh, geez, he can still reach me, okay. I ended up spending all of day 24 in the nether. Day 25 crept right around the corner. I decided to take a break from hoglin slaying. I went and collected some warped wood that I saw off in the distance as I was gonna use this for our new base. And I ended up spending the whole of day 25 in the nether as well. I need to be over there. Oh dear. Let's get back by day 26, shall we? are safe. I made it back to our new base on day 26 and 
crafted my new bookshelves. I didn't get quite enough leather to craft all the ones that I needed, but I decided to go ahead and enchant my first items of the world. We've got we've got some enchantments. Yeah, I'd say that's that's pretty great. After that, I began to start preparing my materials for our new base. I smelted down some copper, started oxidizing it, and then I went and gathered a load of sand and sandstone. Right. It's uh, kind of dark out. I'm a little scared of the dark, not gonna lie. I am hearing a skelly. That's great. Ah! But I have a uh, sharpness three sword. And some water. I hear footsteps that aren't mine. Which means it's a creeper, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Thank you. I've just created a hole that I might fall in and die. Am I gonna cover it up? No. No, I am not. Day 27, I continued gathering and preparing my items for the soon-to-be big base and decided to go trade for a couple more emeralds while I waited for more of my copper to age. I did have a few lovely little visitors. However, my cats did a wonderful job of protecting me. See? My cats are protecting me. Come with me, kitties. I then finished that up and headed back over, and it was time to get started on our base. Oh, jeez. Oh my, that was half my hearts. And I didn't have my water bucket on me. With that minor scare aside, I continued on with my building. Okay, warped. Oh my gosh. I tapped out for one second. I am so not happy with that. So, uh, a lesson for everybody. Don't, don't, don't tab out in hardcore. Well, um, that's, that's the end of this series, I suppose. Um, I made it today, I think 27. I now have a personal vendetta against creepers. I gave it my best shot. So maybe we'll do another series. Uh, down in the comments, let me know. What, what should I do for my next hardcore series? Thank you guys so much for watching me fail. <laughs> and I will see you guys in the next video. <laughs> see ya.